I cannot believe it that I have to make this fucking video because people cannot decide when to not leave me the fuck alone. Anyways, you could probably tell by the title of what's going on with this YouTube video. Yes, I was hacked. This YouTube channel had not been hacked. My channel known as the Superstars 1002 was hacked. And if you know the truth about those, yes, I make videos that have little toys in them that are for children. I've been making them since I was 13. It is something I love to do, and I also made money off it. What not make to make money when you have 4,000 subscribers, you're really successful, and you've been successful for five years? Well, let's cut to the chase, shall we, of how this all started. I told this story multiple times, but I still want to say it again. So in eighth grade, I met this guy. You know, we were friends. We had classes together. We sat by each other at lunch. We'd hang out. Sometimes he also would hang out with my friends. I wouldn't care. He seemed like a nice person. Sometimes when these things happen, people get close. Him and I got close. We started to talk. We get to know each other. He didn't seem like a bad guy. We had a mixer at our school. This was eighth grade. I didn't like going to this stuff. I gave it a shot. I went. Um, he was there. Um, didn't see anything wrong with it. There was a point we played a Wii game together. Um, there was a point where I started to feel a little uncomfortable. The next day, he ends up asking me out. A little weird, off the bat. After that, he behaved very inappropriately around me. He was obsessed with me. He could not stop, okay? He was ruining my life. He wouldn't let me just do track. I couldn't even focus on my education because of this person. So not to mention this, the first time I'd ever hurt myself was because of this person. You're probably like, why are you hurting yourself over your person? Because in the time, I had felt really upset and I felt like there's nothing else to go to. I went to my school several times about this. They suspended him, but they never wanted to expel him because they had so much sympathy for him because he had a disability. A disability. I understand there are some people who have disabilities, but if they are harassing someone to the point where they cannot focus in school, like, come on. Like, seriously. After high school, he continued to harass me. Middle school, high school, college. It just wasn't gonna stop. Not to mention, this person also knew how to freaking hack. They hacked my email. They also sent in a very inappropriate email to one of my teachers that I was very close with. And you know what? That made things a whole lot worse. I had to change my password. I did not trust this person. I didn't trust this person to the day from after the th incident that happened in eighth grade. <laughs> no. But also at the same time, my first semester in college as a freshman, for two weeks straight, this person was harassing me. They were making multiple accounts even after when I blocked them. They were threatening me. They were threatening to kill themselves by saying, Oh, like, you're probably going to be happy I did, I'm did. i dead. I want you to kill me. Which didn't make any sense whatsoever. They were also starting to wish that I was dead as well, too. Which, that's some serious problems. Also, they started to threaten my family. They also would threaten, oh, I'm going to come to your house. Which they never did. They just mostly stalked me online and harassed me online. They said it went on for about two weeks. And finally, I had had it. I did not want to file a restraining order. I said, I filed a restraining order. The person showed up in court. Worst of all, okay, by the time when you're 18, you should be able to make your own decision and not have parents there. Family was there. I understand they're there for support. But at the same time, most of their family was there to make the decisions. Like, come on, make your own decision. This time, that's not happening. Okay, so this happens again. A year later, because the restraining order had been forced a year last year. It happens again. Worst of all, I had my Facebook hacked on Saturday, Sunday. Um, we were able to get it back successfully. Got hacked again. The password had been changed. My Gmail was hacked. And then my YouTube had been deleted. I was crying for over three hours. Had no freaking sleep. Was almost refusing to eat. Honestly, I hate to say this, but it's the truth. I did have suicidal thoughts. I wasn't going to do it, but I was starting to. I can't ever do it because I have too many people in this world that care about me, and that's why. So at this point, I was really upset because I had a YouTube channel of five years 
that I was making money off of, that shit is gone now because he deleted it. So I had to make a new channel and I have to start over. My fame is gone. I might have my fame on here, but on my other channel, it's gone. All the videos were deleted. I did, however, was able to save a few, but that was gone. The email that I made, it had my resume on it. It had stuff for classes that I need. So this person is also causing me to fail my classes and is interrupting my freaking education. No, you know, that is one thing. You do not fuck with my education. Here's the dealy do. I don't care who the fuck you are. You do not fuck with my education for one. Alright, I'm sorry if you're jealous of I'm trying to get a degree and I'm going to school and you're not. But here's the deal. You do not fuck with my education. Couldn't go to class because of this person and also there's an assignment due. Well, the Gmail's hacked. The assignment's still there, but at the same time it's like I don't feel comfortable sharing this. Worst of all, I had to change my credit card information, debit card, had to change all everything. I have to get my number changed and then also, um have to make new social media everything because of this person. Yes, because one person does not take rejection well and is choosing to act completely childish and cannot move on from their life. Like, what the hell? Do you not have anything else better to do besides message someone every day because they won't go out with you or won't talk to you or be your friend? There is no, honestly, there is no other way for me to put this video. I needed to make this video because I needed to let people know. I did make a video on my other, ch a new channel, but at the same time, I, I'm, I don't know what to do because I'm very upset. I'm very disappointed. It's going to take me a while to get over this because five years worth of work is pretty much gone. So right now, I am trying to get in contact with Google and Gmail and YouTube to get all this back, but I probably won't end up getting it back. It's worth a try. I am trying. But like I said, I probably won't end up getting it back. The things I ended up getting hacked were my Facebook, my Gmail, and my YouTube. My YouTube was deleted automatically. My Gmail account was apparently deleted, but apparently it came back. And my Facebook was also hacked, but that later on was successively deactivated because I reported it as a fake profile and it was gone so that way he didn't have access to it anymore. Also the stalker has seen my videos which honestly I don't even care at this point because it's like he's probably already gonna try to make an attempt to hack another account so there's a lot of things that go to go down. I needed to share this story because honestly I've been really upset I've been really frustrated I've been really pissed off but I need to let um, my viewers who are on this channel and also who watch my other channel, which no longer exists, what happened. However, on that other channel, I am going to try to put up some old videos that I did have and try to start fresh. It's probably going to take a long time for me to make videos. I've also been thinking about maybe not even making those videos anymore because, like, it's not worth the shot. So I might just be sticking to this YouTube channel. Like I said, I don't know. So I'm still upset, but I needed to get the word out there. So, anywho, thank you guys for watching my video. I'm so sorry about me just getting frustrated, but I've gotten no sleep because of this. I have not been able to go to class, and I have not really been able to trust anyone. But here's the thing. The situation is getting taken care of, and that is the important thing. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and hopefully things will be back to normal within a couple weeks. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll be doing more videos. Alright, thanks guys for watching. Bye.